Today we will look at how to create dynamic test suites using HSpec and running them with Tasty. The function we will be testing today is called Pluralize. It's a function from text to text, which given an empty string returns an empty string, and given any other string will check if the last character is an S, and if so, we just return it. Otherwise, we will append an S at the end. We can try this function out in the REPL. Dog become dogs, dogs stay dogs, cats stay cats, and a single cat become cats. Now we'd like to test this function. I've prepared an empty test file where we can define an H spec test using spec underscore and a name. Then using do notation, we can combine a bunch of test cases. We say that the function will pluralize the string cat to cats, and then write an assertion. Pluralize of cat should be cats. The test for cats as an input string is similar. And then we will use the same structure for two more test cases for dog and dogs. Running the test suite in the REPL show us that all tests pass. Now these test cases have a lot of repetition. We'd like to keep separate test cases but not repeat all the code. Let's instead write an external file called plurals.csv. Here we list all inputs and their corresponding expected outputs like cat becoming cats. This file could be edited in a spreadsheet editor or generated from some external source and contain thousands of examples. Let's rewrite our test case file to use this external CSV file instead. We need some new imports, the control monad and data semigroup modules, along with the IO module in text and the printf module. We remove some of the hard coded examples from before and instead define read examples, an IO action returning a list of text and text pairs. It's defined as mapping the as pair function over the lines read from a file. And the file is test slash plurals.csv. That's the one we wrote before. The as pair function takes a line and splits that line on commas. In case there are two items in that list, we will return them in a tuple. Otherwise, we will fail using an error message saying invalid example line and add the line. Now here comes the trick. In our spec, we will use run IO to embed an IO action. With our examples read, we can loop over them using 4M and construct test cases for each example. We will generate test cases looking like before, but using the text strings from the file. So we will say pluralizes the input string to the expected output string. And we'll construct that string using printf. Then let's change the hard-coded cat and cats to the input and the expected output. Now running the test suite should give us the same result. Now someone figures out that some words aren't pluralized correctly. Words like fungus and schema. We run the test suite and we see that we have two new failures. Now, if you had hundreds or thousands of these, you might want to filter it and only show the failures. You can do that in Vim by exporting tasty hide successes as a string true. We start in the REPL running the tests, and we see only the failures. Now, you might want to only run specific test cases. You can use the dash p flag in Tasty 
with the pattern. Now we only run the fungus test. Okay, so let's fix our implementation, even if somewhat naively. We pattern match on those two special cases. Then we rerun the tests and see that they all pass. So that's it. You can use Run.io to dynamically create your test suite. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.